Appalachian Wireless has some of the best data rates in wireless on our plans, and not to mention an amazing deal on one of our hottest smartphones. But that's all the time I have to explain. See store for details. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. On Tuesday, the partnership between Berkeley Energy, Edelin Strategic Ventures, and EDF Renewable Energy for a solar farm near Pikeville was announced. On Wednesday, Ryan Johns with Berkeley and Adam Edelin came to town to talk about the project. But let's make no mistake, this isn't a foreign company coming in here to do this project. This is a couple of Kentucky boys who had an idea to try to help an economy that's struggling. Johns and Edelin said they've received positive feedback locally for the planned solar farm, which will be located on a former surface mine atop Ford Mountain at Johns Creek. Um, it was really good to get to see uh, people's reaction to what, uh, what they we're trying to achieve here. And, you know, I believe that most people are excited about any opportunity to bring uh, jobs and stuff um, into the area. We've been overwhelmed by the response. Obviously, there are a lot of people who are really curious, but I think one thing that everybody needs to understand is that, you know, we've seen the economy here decimated in, in eastern Kentucky over the last 10 years and Appalachia even beyond that. So I think people are hungry for new opportunities that will give them the ability to provide for their family or have enough opportunity to keep their kids from having to move out of the region to find, find work. Johns and Edelin said they plan to use the local workforce to construct the solar farm. I'm really pleased to say that EDF has totally embraced the vision of Berkeley Energy and Ryan Johns and, and I own a piece of that as well uh, to make sure that this project is, is built for the benefit of the people who live in this community. The project is planned for construction sometime in 2018. In Pike County, Chris Anderson, EKB News.